Oh, we've got James Bay live in our CD 1825 Big Room Studios. Check out the new album, Chaos and the Calm. That one was released earlier this year. And you are performing tonight in Columbus out at the Newport Music Hall. Doors are at 6 o'clock, so get there early. I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing right now on a Sunday afternoon than listening to you. Oh, thank you so much. This right. is just perfect. And I'm so proud of you because, I mean, you're, you're just blown up. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, when we, when we last saw each other, it was, uh, I... We, what happened that day um, at Bonnaroo was I'd been told probably less than 24 hours beforehand whilst in LA at about 3 in the afternoon that there was a slot for me if I wanted it at Bonnaroo. Um, so we'd need to get up at 3 a.m. the next morning to get to the airport to get on the plane and fly. So we did that, me and my tour manager. Uh, we got there to Nashville uh, Airport. We got in a car. We, we, rent, we rented a car and we drove to Bonnaroo, Manchester, Tennessee, I believe. Yeah. Took a while. I had about 15 minutes when we arrived at the side of the stage. And I finally got up there and had like, they gave me like an hour to play with, which is great. I thought, Bonnaroo, I've got an hour set. Fantastic. There was like 10 people asleep on beanbags <laughs> in front of the stage. And I was like, okay, uh, what can we do with this? But I got playing and, um, you know, about two or three songs in, there was suddenly more people gathered and before halfway through the set, there was like 300 people in front of us. The guy, because I found that out afterwards, the, the, the dude, he, he kind of knew how many people that the area sort of held in terms of, you know, people that were able to hear from the little PA system. And yeah, there's 300, 350 people suddenly came. I played for about 45 minutes and they, and they stayed the whole time. It was amazing. That's wonderful. I mean, because that's how you start, you know, if you get an opportunity, you just, you run with it and you yeah. go with it. I've, 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 <laughs> I've lived off that ethos the whole time. Yeah. Um, since I started out, so. It, well, it, it seems, was working there, I guess it's still working. Yeah, it seems to be doing very well. I was watching videos of you performing at some pretty big festivals over in the UK mm -hmm. and over in Europe, and people singing along to your songs, and that has to be so overwhelming. It, it's overwhelming. The, one of the coolest moments was the Isle of Wight Festival, yeah. and, and, and we, um, we went over there, and, and that was the, I think it was the 45th anniversary, and so many, I can't remember how many exactly, but however many years to the day um, that Jimi Hendrix played it, and he played it seven days before he passed away. Um, so it was, it was special in a lot of respects. And then we were playing a song um, called If You Ever Want to Be In Love. And I looked down into the crowd and there was this little circle of people applauding. Because this guy in the middle of If You Ever Want to Be In Love had got down on one knee in front of his girlfriend and proposed to her. She said yes. I just got the chills. That's amazing. That's kind of <laughs> How do you feel when you see that happening on stage though? I didn't, I didn't believe it at first. I wasn't sure what I'd seen. But, but Jack, my keyboard player, had seen the whole thing start to finish. and. Um, and then they, t they tweeted, uh, they, I was looking at Twitter a couple of weeks later and they tweeted. Yeah, you're like, this, this, was, this was me, you know, it was us. You have yeah. to play their wedding now, you know that. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, probably should, yeah. I saw that you, uh, you know, so you just mentioned that you were up in Detroit and you ended up stopping by the Motown Museum. Oh, I, you know, we, we, we didn't realize you had to like book like a slot to go and see the place. So we just turned up, 10 of us, mm -hmm. the whole crew and band and everything. And they were like, and we were like, we're English musicians, you know, we'd love to, we, this kind of means a lot to us. I thought, sure, it means a lot to everybody, it's Motown. But, uh, <laughs> but they let us in for a sort of quick tour and, and they took us straight to Studio A, yeah. where all that, that incredible, well, you know, so many incredible records have been made and, and there was complete chills, you know, it was like a spiritual thing. It was just amazing to be in such a tiny room where, you know, it felt almost claustrophobic. You know, it's, these are just, it's just a house on a street, suburban kind of street, but such enormous, in, in, in lots of different respects, such enormous records have come out of that room. It was just a, you know, it was a, it was a big moment in any kind of tourist or musician or whoever's life to just be able to go stand in there. It was, it was really cool. Have you had the opportunity to check out any other like historical musical landmarks while you've been on tour? Is there anywhere that you want to go? Like I want to go to Graceland. I've always wanted I, to yeah, go to Graceland. I, I would like to go, I, I, I made my um, album in, in Nashville, Tennessee, but I never got to go to, to Memphis, I, I would like to go there. I'd like to go up to Woodstock. Yeah. I'd like to go, I mean, I, I guess it's just kind of green fields and you know, you had Big Pink was down up there and everything, Bob Dylan and the band. I, I'd like to go up there. Um, and I'm probably forgetting all the other ones because it's one of those questions, like when someone says, what's your favorite album? You just think of a million. You're like, I've, got, oh. I've, got, I've got a lot of answers to that question that, <laughs> that I'll think of later. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, just tell me later. You know, sure. that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and do another track. We do have James Bay live in our CD1025 Big Group Studios. What is your next song? Uh, I'm going to play uh, let it go. Nice, nice. Give it up for James Bay, you guys.